Welcome back to another episode on b Horror Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look how the average PC plays against the average PlayStation 5 and or Xbox Series X. Now I know this sounds pretty unfair, and in most cases, the PC would win. We will talk about a game technically made for the PC with Cyberpunk 2077. When I first played Cyberpunk, it was on a console and on the Xbox Series X. Needless to say, I was quite disappointed. I, like many others, watched demos and screenshots of the game probably using the power of a PC, all the power that it could muster, and a top-notch ray tracing graphics. I played an Xbox One X that used backwards compatibility to help with the resolution and frame rate. Although manageable, I was always thinking about what could have been if the game was finalized completely. Or maybe I was lying to myself that the game would ever truly change as much as I really wanted with the PlayStation 5 and Series X with a free upgrade that would soon come in a year or two. With a full year under our belts, I'm here now purchasing the same game for the PC to really know and see if the average gamer can do the same as the pictures and demos witnessed before. Knowing that I will have a lot of trouble without the top tier graphics card that will cost upwards into $1,000 plus, I opt to experience with an affordable mid-range card like the AMD RX 580 and the NVIDIA GTX 1060, which are very close and comparable cards. I chose these cards as these were the cards most people and I pulled and owned like myself. Although the cards are very, very similar, I chose in this case I'll be using a 3700X AMD Ryzen 3 CPU, AMD RX 580, 64GB of RAM with a Samsung SSD. Needless to say, even now I have no real issues playing the same games on consoles and on PC with a higher frame rate and resolution than most games in comparison. To me, it usually comes down to the pricing and comfort and the ability of the game itself. I purchased Cyberpunk 2077 from Epic Store Games and it already downloads all the game patches instantly without you needing to hunt for them online. I will say that the load times are faster on the PC without a doubt compared to the Series X. That is where the PC games pretty much end. I found myself truly having major issues when playing the game at an optimal performance. In gaming with a similar way on the Series X I will need to play at a 30 frames per second or higher so I will be able to do so in ultra settings hovering well above 30 frames but probably under 60 in the 45 frames per second world. In the game like Cyberpunk, I'm quite fine with 30 FPS like the Series X with it being more story based. However, to reach ultra settings, I must be in 1080p resolution compared to the Series X which is way above 1440p. However, the game still looked fine to me and had minor gr graphical glitches that just looked bad. I won't speak of these as the game has had many bugs it needed to work out. All I wanted to see was if my PC can handle something significantly more than what was on a Series X can offer at this time. As sad as I was in the expectations I had with the Series X, I was more so with the PC. Although in ultra settings, besides more atmospheric fog, steam, or to that effect everywhere, the game looked very similar. The game does boot up and handle textures on the fly very well, but doesn't wow me in any way like I thought it would. The biggest difference is in the gamma settings. This is very dependent on your monitor. Playing on a 4K HDR LG monitor, I found that the game playing on each mode really makes a difference. I will concentrate my efforts here in particular 
in early scenes where I thought it looked pretty cool in general. The game can look super dark or super bright, depending on your monitor. Messing with the gamma, you can really get nice visuals, but in other areas, pure darkness and overblown in brightness. I had issues all over the game that this is both light and dark and always changing the gamma settings were not optimal or fun at all. In an early mission that discusses a mission, here is a Series X versus the PC. At times, the PC looks to win with the right gamma settings, but then you can't play other scenes as it's complete darkness. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, the rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot and shot. Same here as you discuss terms in a firefight, where the Gamma takes the PC less detailed than the Series X. This occurs all over the game, as you quite frankly move all over the place between light and dark. Once I thought I had the right settings and was happy, I then played my first brain dance and was super dark and undefinable. Not playable in my book at all. This led me to play the Series X again and wasn't so mad and actually liked what I was playing and doing. So in the end, I prefer the console version as it looks so similar to the ultra settings on PC without ray tracing. This leads me to believe that the future upgrade patch will make the game look even better. My suggestion is to buy a physical PlayStation 4 or Xbox One version of the game if you own a PlayStation 5 or Series X and wait for the upgrade patch in utilizing the PS5 and Series X extra power to a low price of $10 or lower for the game. If you own a PC with a mid-range graphics card, forget it as it isn't worth the back and forth setting changes that will consume you, especially with the gamma settings. It isn't worth the time and money and I have now wasted. It's crazy as my PC can easily handle most next-gen games with ease, if not at 4K then 1440p. But with Cyberpunk, I will need an $1,000 plus card to rise above the consoles. That's it for me on this comparison look at Cyberpunk PC versus Series X. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal make like nothing happened? You know you don't got to speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Damn. Uh.